dude's taking forever to get here. Yeah? What took so long? Oh! Jeez. Hey, good morning, two laners. Uh, it's five o'clock. We're here at uh, Two Lane Garage. Um, Lance, what happened this morning? Uh, no power at the house, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Made it here, had to open the garage door for the wife and get the car out and all that kind of stuff, getting it all ready. But look at all the boys here. Hey, Harley Iron 883. So he was rolling in hot. Yeah, I was rolling in hot, but I'm ready. Because we're going to get to Victorville and we're going to meet up some other people and we're going to have some coffee and breakfast. So we're about to start our 12 day run, 10 day run. Who knows? Could be 13 days. 2020, 80th Sturgis. Here we come. are all here we're in Victorville and we uh what, what's the deal here well we already had a little problem Rob's shifter arm broke so they had to zip tie it we're gonna bail it bailing wire it to the bike you know these dinas come apart we'll have to wait till the next Harley dealership we're sitting in beautiful golden arches in Victorville and we got to drive through the drive through on our bikes to get breakfast nice that bites well hey whatever guys here we go What's going on, fellas? We're, uh, we're going to put a... You're yeah. doing a what? Throwing in a Lexan for Cole. Ah, oh, Cole wants to hear his music. Hear Quick his install. Music. Quick install, on the fly. Yeah, I dig it. Where the yes. heck are we? It's a great question. Middle of Mojave. No idea. Middle of Mojave. Rob, what's happening, uh, man? Baker. Baker. Uh, here we are. Here's, here's yeah. one of my favorite crews right here. The Leatherman, hey, Evan, Cameron. Oh, no. That's a different ride. That's not the 10, right? No, we. this isn't the 10, uh, yeah. <laughs> See that thermometer over there? Yo. What up? What's the temperature out here? 103. What? It's 103 when we pulled in. Oh, whoa! 103. 103. We just we met Gene. Again? We're, I, what we, the heck? We could be. We could be. We just Dude. met Gene. What the hell is going on? It's hot. It's, it's hot. Toasty. Huh? What? We just met Gene. Oh yeah. We did. The guy rolls up, suburban. Says, oh, yeah. "Hey, I follow you guys. You're two lane life, right?" We're like, yeah. <laughs> What's up? There's Josh. Yeah. I think I've been loving it. Loving it. Rob's letting uh, Josh hey. cruise his spare cruiser. You know, you know, that thing breaking it in, to making out. sure to redline it. It's a good bike. Nah. It's a good bike. <laughs> nice. Yep. Here we are. Checking it all out. Big lamps is over there, Josh.
So how's that uh, temperature been through the uh, Vegas Valley Mesquite? It was 108, 109. Uh, yeah. through, now we're wearing mesquite. We're on the outside of mesquite. Yep. I'd like to show you that American And flag we're heading to uh, Zion. Well, we're going to have some lunch, some drinks, get hydrated. It's pretty hot out here, but the bikes are doing great. And uh, yeah, what do you want to show us? Uh, look at that beauty. Isn't that great? That's what it's all about right there. Love that flag. boys. So it's 7.30 at night, we're here in Zion National Park, um, and we're gonna go get some dinner. This has been one hell of a hot ride, 113 degrees at some points. Yeah, it was hot, but it was nice. I mean, we got here early, jumped in the pool, we're gonna go grab something to eat. Spectacular scenery, we got a little bit of smoke cover, but it's still beautiful out there. It was a great ride, it took us a little bit longer than I thought. You know, we got these Dyna dudes right here. Here's one of them here. Only gets like 100 miles to the gallon, so uh, and and we got a, one gallon. We got a full posse though, don't we? We sure do. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these bikes. Just bikes, bikes, bikes. Zion. Hey, take a look out here, man. I mean, look at this. How grand is this, you know? Pretty grand. We got the back towards uh, the opening of Zion here. We're not actually up in the park. We'll be up there tomorrow. But I mean, just check this out. Even outside the hotel here, we should walk around this way, man. Yeah. It's amazing though to be in LA and then before you know it, you're in Zion in the evening for dinner. Bikes ran good. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. So like the first time we came through here, there was snow all over these uh, cliffs. Right, right, right. We brought the girls, they came through. <coughs> We've had just different types of weather. We've never been here when it's been this hot. Yeah, it's, this, was a, this was a doozy today, but like you said, it's tolerable, you know? Yeah. So we're gonna go over and uh, have some dinner right over across the field over there that way look at that dude's tongue man yeah whoa <laughs> he's hot too so that that's the uh in for the night right here 
anyway we'll see y'all down the road so this is josh's first time through zion Epic. and he's here so Epic. what do you think of this place it's insane i mean it looks like a backdrop um see the sun coming over the top of the rocks just insane views i mean all different kinds of colors we came from the desert not much you know sand and whatnot now we got all this red and green and blue skies great weather can't complain no has uh machinist rob seen this before what no rob this is your first place first, first time? time ever never seen anything mm -hmm. like it i've seen pictures once in a while but <laughs> this is just amazing i you know i can't even say like how much better this is than a picture right right I can't, it for yourself. I can't wait to run you guys through the park because okay. you're gonna have you're gonna have this and then there's gonna be some other really incredible rock features there's this tunnel that's like a half a mile mile long you're just really gonna dig it i mean look at that shape up there that's yeah, just crazy i mean it's like Really? Is that what it is? <laughs> right about there. Yeah, it's right there. See, I've seen it editing their videos, but I've never seen it in person. You can't beat it. Right. Yeah. So we're going to go uh, walk over right now and see if we can get some uh, table reservations. It looks packed over there. Really great. Just hanging out in Zion over here, waiting for dinner. Checking out the. The deer cruising through the little uh, restaurant area here. The things you see when you're out on the road. Yeah. Oh. I see a deer right here. Hey, good morning, two laners. We're on day two of our Sturgis run. Uh, just whipped through the uh, Zion National Park. It was epic. Uh, we're sitting in a little town called Kanab, Utah. We're going to head down to Jacobs Lake, Vermilion Cliffs. I don't know, maybe Mexican Hat, Moab. We'll see where it takes us. What were we eating? Jakey Lee's. Jakey Lee's. We found a place in Kanab where we can stop and sit down and have some breakfast. So we're going to do that. and. Uh, you know, roll we'll see on out. down the road. Yes, sir. So we're up at seven thousand feet. Um, and it's beautiful weather up here. 
Uh, we just passed a few logging trucks and everyone's just ripping. It's like the race is on. So it's great being up here in this forest. It's like uh, you come out of the desert, you're up in the high country. Zion is about 3,900 feet. So we were up there, that's where we stayed last night. Obviously you saw that. Um, we're heading over to Horseshoe Bend right now. That's just outside of Page, Arizona. So it's been a great morning of riding. Um, really having a great time. This is awesome. Look at the view. It's going to start getting real warm. It's already gone up about five degrees right now. We're at 6,000 feet. Yes, sir. The Arizona desert. I do love Arizona. I love Utah, too. Actually, I just love riding. So wherever. Let's ride everywhere. I don't know why we're stopping here. I guess they want to get a view. Canyon. Oh yeah. Looks like the boys want to get some gas and some drinks or something. I don't know. We'll check it out. Hey fellas, what's going on? Luke, yeah. Luke, how's it going man? Tell us about this trip today. Well, I mean it was uh, it's a bitch and run so far. We saw a little temperature change, elevation. I've uh, been working on the W3 suspension, and we got her dialed in. Nice. Galen was behind me, not in front of me, he was behind me, he said it looked pretty good. Yeah, you weren't pogoing as much. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What do you, your family has sweet corn? <laughs> sweet corn? They just harvested that? Yeah, Jack Carfa's sweet corn. Nice. Nunica, Michigan, baby. Is that kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a Walla Walla Washington. Yeah. Well, it's very, it's very like, similar. Like, like, I mean, onion? if you were in the area and you said that you had some Jack Carfa sweet corn, you you know. They know. They know. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Right on, dude. There you go. Some more information on the road at Tulane, right? You're a wealth of knowledge, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Evan? Oh, uh, what's going down? How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Right on. Right yeah. on. Cameron, how are you feeling today, buddy? I'm good. Right on. It's a bit hot. All I'm right. Good. Can handle it, huh? Good deal. Look at all these guys. Views already. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. People? Hey, listen. Just so you know, we're coming down the ten, and uh, <laughs> it might be a different road this time. I'm not really sure, but. All right. Yeah. So uh, we just left the gas station. We're gonna go to Lee's Ferry. Uh, probably jump in the Colorado River. Uh, there you go. Lynn Canyon, Lee's Ferry. You don't have your floaties? Yeah. Or a life jacket, for that matter. The cool things we do on the way to Sturgis. Yep, this is what we do on the way to Sturgis. Find the Colorado River. Check this out. This water is like 40 degrees. Woo! It is cold. It is cold. There's the big lucre. 49? It's cold. It's beautiful. There's Cameron. LC's coming down. Don't, don't be scared of it. Rock it. Nice rock. Woo!
Where are we at, man? <sighs> this is uh, Lee's Ferry. Um, Colorado River comes out of the Glen Canyon Dam. And it's awesome. This is where I was when I was probably like uh, 18 years old. And this is where we put it in on our raft trips, floating 300 miles down the canyon, like a two week trip. So it brings back a lot of memories. The water's like 49 degrees. It's How nice the water, and chilly. Right? The water's cold on your feet, but when Luke pushed me in, it wasn't so bad. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, wake <laughs> you up a little bit. Uh, so we, uh, a little aching though on the shin. It's fucking, yeah. dude, your feet are frozen. <laughs> There you go, Rob. Uh, How'd that work? So what's going on here? Uh, we're about to go rafting down the Grand Canyon. Uh, we're going to do an, a nine-day, eight-night trip. Okay. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, we've got 24 people. Good shit. Yeah. Now, yeah, what are these boats called? These are called S rigs. We had a 33 foot pontoon that we used to be the houseboat, you know, yeah. kind of thing. Yep. It was an old army boat that they used to use. Yep. And they'd put them over waterways and drive tanks over the top of them. Are you looking at this? Yeah, the here? same thing. Right here, yep. Indeed. Old yeah. ranch pontoons from World War II. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. You drive a tank across these things. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so look, we're just outside of Page. This is a beautiful spot. It's Horseshoe Bend. We're gonna walk up there. When we were here last, it was all dirt. Now they're charging for you to get in, but hey, it's cool. They fixed it up a lot. They got a, it's beautiful up there. I think there's even like a thing you can go stand on a ledge, like a hangover over there. Let's go check it out. But you've never been here, right, Luke? I have, but it's been oh, yeah. 15 Big years. What's Let's on hang your off lips? the ledge. Hang off the ledge? Hang, hang on off to it. Yeah, all right, well. So here we are, we're gonna go look at Horseshoe Bend. Let's go. What's up, what's up? Walking down, gonna go check out Horseshoe Bend. Right? Never been here, pretty stoked. So you had the thrash and uh, Instagram one weekend, right? Yeah, uh, went up Ojai, back way around Lake Casitas, dropped into Lake, uh, what was that, Santa Barbara? Yeah. Had some lunch up there. A little chill? Yeah, so, it was nice. Nice. Nice ride. Look at all these thrashing shirts, man. And we have the parts guy with us. He just, the machinist, the chemist. I mean, this dude is just rocking it. All running those hard parts because of him. Awesome. So you know, awesome. It's, it's a lot of fun to build that stuff. Yep. And you know, to get to work with the team and all these guys get along. Everybody's looking for the best thing. Nobody's like getting all top of their ego. Everybody's just trying to find out what's the best thing we can do for the for the bike, for the customer, whatever, like anything we can do to make it better. Right? Totally. So how do you feel about saying that? And my color, you can't buy that color. That's the CVO color. Could you not swear on camera? I bet I can I bet I can get my bike Trying to keep this a family channel. We're pretty damn close. Look, here's the thing. Alright, piece of <laughs> Tell me. If you have live cameras following me, you're gonna know who oh, I am. My bull <laughs> this, <laughs> that, <laughs> you. Yeah. It's one of the best words in the dictionary. It's, a it's very descriptive. Hey, Lance, don't forget the thrashing trip here. Thrashing two lane life trip, really. What, we well, we're the fueling guys. Yeah, or the fueling guys. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. hey. The fueling, the fueling dudes too. Here <laughs> That's they are. What I say to you. Everybody on the on all the bikes are fueling out on this trip. So the performance, yes. Not my bike, my CBO. It rips. <laughs> I heard 114 yeah, outruns it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this crew. I love every guy here, man. They're all awesome. You love guys. <laughs> you you guys, not other guys, but you guys. Watch out for the cliff behind the uh. <laughs> Thank you.
Here we are, Horseshoe Bend. Uh, what do you think, Josh? Insane, unreal. It's uh, definitely something to see. Horseshoe Bend is wild. I've been looking at photos of this place on Instagram for years. And now you're here and like looking through your eyes is pretty freaking wild. Right? See the kayaks coming up river. You got a power boat that just went up river. Really awesome, really epic. And the sun sets right out there. So people come here at sunset. And it's cool because you get different views all times of the day. Sunset, early morning, just spectacular. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that tour guide. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Look how beautiful that water is right now. What do you think, Rob? I think this is incredible. I thought it looked good from an airplane. <laughs> this is definitely a different perspective, for sure. Awesome. Luke, we're, we're up here about 4,200 feet. Okay. Um, we're right outside of almost Glen Canyon and Lake Powell, where all this kind of convulges together. Uh huh. And we're about four miles from Page. So I think we're going to have some lunch in Page. That sounds good. Are we staying in Page? Well, I don't know. I heard there was a nice little uh, beverage stop called the Maverick. <laughs> okay, well, don't trip over there. Let's keep your footing. So where are we at? The dam one? We're at the, the dam bar. Yeah. Okay. We're in Page, America. We got the uh, Boulder Dam right out here. Thank you. Glen Canyon. Or Glen Canyon Dam. Oh, it's Boulder Dam. No? Glen Canyon Dam. All right. We got some health food going on here, some celery. Oh, the celery. Yeah, celery is good for your liver. So, here we are. I don't have? know about him, but these french fries and yeah. this fry sauce right here, Whoa. way better than that celery stuff over there. You got the fry sauce. Hey, what's happening? Lunchtime in Page, Arizona with the crew, man. And we got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But we're gonna do it. That's what we do, right? Thank you. We're, we're looking for a, a 3 8 drive, 3 8 ball end socket. A what? Huh? A Allen wrench. Allen I'll wrench. I do it that. Uh, so Napa, they didn't have it? Napa didn't have it. O'Reilly's looking, but he doesn't know what a ball end is. So this should be interesting. <laughs> Call to fix my bike. It's your I problem. Even, I know. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> so we got some uh, loose risers here. And we're doing a little on on-site repair. I might have to disconnect the These are the kind of things that can happen while you're on the road. What's going on, Doctor? Right we got a couple tool kits out. We got a ball in Dell Allen 38. We got the socket on it, we did a little jimmy rig, and we're all set now. Oh, wow. All right, I'm digging it. Ingenuity, man. It's what we do to get stay on the road. So tighten those risers, and we are ready to rock and roll. Hey, so uh, check it out. There's my boy. One of the kids dropped the hat. He's up there trying to find it again. Looks like uh, the mission was successful. He's walking back like he's pretty tough too. And it's pretty cool. Got the hat, we're gonna get back on the road. Just leaving Page, gonna head to uh, Cayenta, then up to uh, Monument Valley. Check this stuff out. We all good, later. Your hats never stay on their bike. Never.
So we're out here. We're at the entrance of Monument Valley. Here we are. So, uh, our buddy Rob Scott, his bike just died, and they're a few miles back. Galen's over there with him. Uh, Evan just went there with some tools. We're hoping it's loose terminals or something because it's acting like a battery. Here we are, chilling on the side of the road. It's like 6.30 in the evening. We're nowhere near where we need to get, but hey, we're hanging out. Like, what's the deal? What about? Well, we are four miles away from Monument Valley, at least the view of Monument Valley, which technically we're in Monument Valley, I think. But Rob Scott, he, his bike broke down probably five miles back. Uh -huh. He's got two of us back there with him, so there's three of them back there. We got a couple of people that are exhausted from the day. We're so debating like on gotta look somewhat decent. what we're gonna do. And here we got Rob, the machinist. Hey, what are you guys doing? He's he's chilling on the ground out here. Yeah, well, there's really no point in standing up in the sun. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. So you know, here we are. Yeah. Just hanging out, having a good time, waiting for people to tell us whether we're going back or staying. <laughs> All right. Well, good position there. Awesome. So we'll see what happens when these. Uh, Hopefully they can uh, not get a tow and they can continue riding. Anyway. We have the same thing happen to our buddy. Should happen, you know. Thank God uh, Evan came back, cool. Got that done. Boys just showed up. Looks like we have another bad battery problem. Seven years old. See if we can make it into Mexican hat. One of the most iconic photo zones in the West. This is Forest Gump Point. Where Galen, are we at? Galen and I have been here, oh, probably 10 times, and we've jogged up the thing and said we're tired and wanted to go home. Really? <laughs> Where are we? Hey, you Monument got Valley, up there, and that's the Forest Gump Point. Okay, out there. Yep. Do you see the mittens anywhere? Uh, they're tucked in back over there. Okay. That's in the actual park where you have to go in. Right. Uh, and we did not do that, but... So, what do you think we're doing tonight? Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to be searching for a battery, uh, getting gas, and trying to find a place to stay, right? <laughs> May uh, end up at the San Juan Inn River again. I hope they have... San Juan Inn... San Juan River this, Inn. Yes, and I hope they have rooms. If they don't... Yeah, we're going to be screwed. We're going to be camping. But That's hey, still pretty dope, right? Yeah, this is always dope. Oh, what do we got there? We got the drone going. What are you doing, Josh? Let's take a little flight. Right. 